it's something that's noble, I think. Farming is a noble cause. It goes back to centuries ago when it was the very first occupation. We're the Niltons over in Honeyville, Utah. We have milk 112 dairy cattle, mostly Jerseys. You see the size of dairies nowadays are, you know, are big and you don't necessarily have to be that big. Uh, you know, we're only 120 cows and it's manageable and, and you make a good living at it. You don't have to have a thousand or, or two thousand cows. I like to see the life cycles of the uh, animals from, you know, the baby calf at birth to her growing through a heifer uh, and then becoming a cow and entering the milk herd. It's a great place for kids. You like to see the kids that uh, they love it. Uh, you're constantly having, you know, nieces and nephews and everybody over here and they all want to help and, and uh, you know, anybody that comes around just likes to see it and it's just fun to have people uh, excited come to see you and they're excited about what you do. Another added bonus to having a farm is that it seems like you can have all these little projects going on and you've always got room to keep extra animals if you want a horse or some goats or some sheep or... We have chickens also, just, you know, because you have the land and you have the room for it, so why not try and play around with everything? The more you're around the animals as well, uh, you'll notice uh, that they each, each have their own personality, just like people do. Uh, from cow to cow, they have their own, and also from breeds. Uh, they act just a little bit different and do things just a little bit different. The Jersey cows, they have a really long tongue and they really like to play with it and, and actually roll it. They'll roll it up and roll it out and, and people think it's the funniest thing to, to watch them and that's the only breed of cow I've ever noticed that does it, but they do it quite often. 